counsel of the U.S. Department of State, Derek Chala, affirmed his country's commitment to strong relations with Kuwait, seeking to boost security cooperation, promote human rights and work, to advance mutual interest on defense, trade, climate change, and health issues. The counselor of the U.S. Department of State also praised the efforts taken by the state of Kuwait by consolidating the pillars of maintaining international peace and security in the region. The counselor of the U.S. Department of State, Derek Chalit, affirmed during his visit to, to the state of Kuwait his country's commitment to strong relations with Kuwait, saying that this visit which will include Bahrain, seek to post uh, security cooperation, promote human rights. The regional security picture is something that's been a project of uh, priority of the United States for a dozen years or more. Um, and we certainly see our interests, America's interests, as nested within a broader framework of strengthening the security ties here in the region. And the U.S. GCC effort is critical among, uh, along those lines. That's why President Biden placed such a high priority in coming uh, to the region last summer to meet with GCC leaders to talk about, among other things, our security cooperation. It's why our colleagues at CENTCOM and Central Command have been so uh, active in trying to knit together the security architecture of this region. Part of that is about helping countries acquire the capabilities they need to be uh, capable security partners. It's also about working to build the institutions and the, the kind of the, the, the connections between countries. I mean, I remember one of my first visits here um, or in the region uh, when I was working at the Pentagon about 10 years ago, in which it was innovative at the time for GCC countries to come together and just give a common intelligence uh, update in terms of the threat picture because at the time everything was so stovepiped. And so we've come s such a long distance uh, since those very early days. So I see this as something that's, uh, that has been unfolding over many years and uh, I, we're making progress year by year and we're on a very, very strong trajectory and Kuwait has a very, very important role to play Charlotte said uh, that this year marks the 60th anniversary of diplomatic ties and the United States with Kuwait have a shared uh, commitment to promoting the stability and security of the region built on seven decades of uh, strong relations and people-to-people -people ties. This year we also mark the 60th anniversary of our diplomatic ties and, and I want to assure you that as we approach the seventh decade of our relationship between the United States and Kuwait, that we see a partnership that, uh, in which the future is quite bright in terms of our security relationship, in terms of our economic relationship, in terms of our political relationship, in terms of our people-to-people -people ties, uh, our work uh, bringing together the, the next generation of both of our countries. It's something that uh, Secretary of State Blinken, uh, President Biden, Vice President Harris, the entire leadership team in the United States feels very strongly in this relationship as just one example of the important partnerships we have here uh, in the region. So that's what I wanted to say at the top. I had very good meetings today, as I said, with the foreign minister, with the National Assembly speaker, and others. Uh, it was a great uh, set of meetings, again, to build on the important work that we've been doing over the last several years. Also, he worked to advance mutual interest uh, on defense trade, climate change, and health issues. To Kuwait English News, this is Hadi Al-Fahd.